Just before we head into the video, I'd love to give a shout out to the sponsor of the channel, RL Exchange. Now, RL Exchange is the best way to buy any items or credits on any platform and at the cheapest prices so that you can build your dream setup. Go and check them out using the link in the description and use code TXC to get yourself 3% off your order. This is episode 71 of trading from a rare drop all the way up to the alpha cap and right now the inventory is worth over 162,000 credits. Before we get into the I'd like to mention I'm giving away a white octane every 1,000 subscribers on the channel. All you have to do to enter is drop a like, subscribe, turn on post notifications and finally join my Discord server using the link in the description down below. And I might even give away the alpha cap that I get from this series. So you're going to want to subscribe for that. And without any more further ado, let's get straight into the first trade of the episode. Okay, so we're going to be heading straight into the first trade of the video now in the last episode. We genuinely sold so many items. As you can see, we only have a forest green Hextide and a black OEM going in to the first trade. Honestly, I feel so good because, yeah, we had so many hard to sell items that have been cleared out. We still do have a forest green Hextide, which, to be fair, isn't too ideal. It probably is. Uh, well, well, it is extremely hard to sell, so hopefully I'll be able to clear that out. But for now, I'm fine buying a load of items into my inventory because of the amount of uh, the amount of work I've done to clear everything. So we're buying two Crimson Octanes into the inventory. I've said this a uh, lot like in every episode. Octanes are so good for making profit. They have such a high demand buying them both for 700 unfortunately they did go down on the spreadsheet so i'm going to try and get at least 750 but ideally i will be getting 800 credits for both of those so that i can actually make 200 credits profit in total from that trade but yeah as i was saying i've done so much work to actually clear out my inventory i don't mind spending an entire episode buying items into my inventory here i'm going to be buying a pink sunburst and a crimson standard for 1000 credits they add up to 1.9k um okay what what's going on i've just underpaid 700 credits for these items. This was all thanks to RL Garage. Basically, I listed up a post for Sunburst, buying a load of painted Sunburst. Realistically, nobody ever sells them to me because my prices are very low, but I do get the one-off trade where somebody says, yeah, I've, I've got a pink Sunburst. I'll sell it to you for the price that you said. So, I was able to underpay by 900 credits for those items. The pink Sunburst is extremely hard to sell. It will take ages to actually get the minimum value, but eventually, I should be able to get that minimum value, and that'll be a ton of profit. I'm also buying some painted Phoenix, underpaying 100 credits for each of these, and uh, yeah, they have such a high demand, realistically, they should be selling really quickly, however, right now items are genuinely so hard to sell, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but yeah, I can't sell anything at the moment, and that is why it's so easy to buy items, yeah, I'm, I'm able to buy so many items right now, way below the minimum value, and uh, yeah, it's good for me, what I'm going to do is basically uh, take advantage of this time when uh, item demand is so low, I guess, credit demand is so high, so I'm going to spend quite a bit of time buying a load of items into my inventory. I'll sell the odd item, for example, the Crimson Standard got lucky. I was able to get the minimum value for this item, but for now, I'm just going to spend the time when item demand is so low, buying loads of items into my inventory, and then when item demand goes up a little bit, maybe during the week, I'll be able to sell all of those items that I underpaid for, for the minimum value. So yeah, I'm taking advantage of it, and it will genuinely help me out. I don't mind if items get stuck in my inventory, because yeah, I'm making a ton of profit in the long run. And real quick, I want you guys to comment down below what items you are buying and selling to make profit because right now I'm buying a range of items for example the painted sunburst standards which have been really good recently octanes phoenix those high demand uh, items as well zombas these have been okay recently unfortunately it did drop when I bought it or you know I don't even think it dropped I think I was just stupid and bought it for 50 credits more than I should have done so I'm gonna try and find 500 credits for this it has actually gone back up since I bought it so hopefully I'll be able to find 500 credits for that gray zomba but yeah as I was saying let me know in the comments what items you're buying and selling to make profit. I might even try a few of your methods out. But for now, I'm literally buying any item that I can to make profit on. Low demand, high demand, it doesn't matter. Because, yeah, some items will just sit in my inventory for a long time. Items such as the Forest Green Hextide. Yeah, they've got no demand. But they also don't go down on the spreadsheet. So I can wait forever, maybe even months, to sell that Forest Green Hextide. If I get near the minimum value, I'll still be able to make profit. Because, yeah, I doubt it will go down. And that is why I love to buy low demand items. High demand items such as the painted octanes go up and down all the time. So even when I buy crimson octane, for example, it went down. Yeah, not too great for me. When load well, when I buy low demand items, they don't tend to go down. They're a little bit safer. White Interstellar, oh my days, this was such a good trade. Now, White Interstellar actually went up like when I bought it. I don't know if the guy saw or not, but I was actually able to underpay by 300 credits. Now, as you did see on that spreadsheet, White Interstellar goes up and down quite a bit 
of the time. So I will be quite quick. Or I'll have to be quite quick to sell that in order to get 2.5k. But I reckon I'll be able to do it. And that'll be 300 credits profit. And painted interstellars, a lot of people struggle to sell them. I genuinely don't. And I can make a ton of profit. So if you haven't already, try and buy and sell painted interstellars. I usually underpay by 200 or more credits. And I can get 200 credits profit at least from every painted interstellar that I buy and sell. Which, to be fair, is not bad whatsoever. One thing that I did forget to mention was the unpainted expensive black market, such as the Fire God. Yeah, I know it's only 300 credits on the spreadsheet, okay? That is considered expensive in today's market for a black market. But yeah, unpainted expensive black market. So Fire God, Heat Wave, Interstellar, Mainframe, Jawline Dragons, those sort of items, their demand is crazy. So if you can buy any of those for below the minimum value, you're basically guaranteed to make profit. And I want to let you guys know, when I tell you all these secrets, it does also affect my trade. So when I tell somebody to buy a certain item, for example, Octanes, I actually can't buy any Octanes because loads of people start buying them. So it's a bit of a problem for me, but I also want you guys to make as much profit as possible. But yeah, literally make a post on RL Garage offering for uh, Heatwave, Fire God, Mainframe, Jewel and Dragons, Interstellar, those sort of black markets. Pay 50 to 100 credits below the minimum value depending on your platform, and you should be able to make a good amount of profit. I've also just bought a White Fennec now. Yeah, White Fennec, so good for making profit. Again, the demand for this item is crazy. Even if you underpay by 10 credits, you can just sell it on for the minimum value. Now, one thing I do want to say is that you always see me sell my items for the minimum value. Now, the reason I do this is because I believe it's quicker. A lot of you guys, yeah, it is completely understandable if you want to sell your items for the middle value, especially if you're on maybe PlayStation or PC. I think it'll be worth it if you guys sold your items for the middle value. But because I'm on Xbox, there's loads of people selling their items. It's way too, uh, I don't know what to say. It's, um, it's harder to sell my item for the middle value, if that makes sense. It could literally take me an hour to get the middle value for a white fennec. Whereas if I try and get the minimum value, it will probably take me about half that time. So I do it for efficiency and I try and get as many items in my inventory and out of my inventory as quickly as possible. So I work on efficiency. You guys, of course you can sell your items for the middle value. Go ahead and do that. You might even be able to make more profit than me. I just prefer this method of trading because I don't like items sitting in my inventory for a very long time. I believe I've also just bought uh, a, a Lime Octane as well below the minimum value and I've already sold it on. So yeah, that was a very quick trade that just proves that Octanes have such a high demand. The reason I've still got the Crimson Octanes is because they went down on the spreadsheet and right now I'm trying to find 800 credits, which realistically is a bit greedy, but I want to make sure I'm actually making profit on it. And as I said earlier, the Titanium White Fennec has such a high demand and I'm already selling it on for 1.4k. Now I do want to just clarify that this is only 100 credits profit. Nowhere near as much as when I'm buying and selling items, for example, the pink sunburst. However, yeah, the pink sunburst is, is, is still in my inventory from the start of the video, so I'm keeping it, and uh, I am trying to sell it, but nobody really wants it, and yeah, I definitely recommend trading with low demand items, because you can make loads more profit, but you've got to have more patience, you've got to know how to sell items, because a lot of people buy a low demand item, for example, maybe a painted dicey, black OEM, pink sunburst, those sort of items, and they can't sell them, and then they eventually just sell them for less than they bought them for so you've got to have an idea of what you're doing if you want to buy low demand items but if you've been trading for a while know the market know how to trade yeah definitely buy and sell low demand items it is a very good way to make profit and the way I actually buy those items is I just have loads of posts I think I've got 20 plus posts offering for painted hex tides painted airstrikes painted carbonators I don't ever really buy them because my prices are so low but eventually I'll get somebody who wants to sell me one I can underpay by loads of credits and eventually make a good amount of profit. For example, this painted dicey 1.3k on the spreadsheet, I'm only paying 900 credits, 400 credits below the minimum value. I might underpay uh, a little bit more for the more expensive uh, dices, but yeah, realistically can't underpay too much when it's that cheap anyway. So paying 900 should eventually be able to find that minimum value of 1.3k, but yeah, I guess we'll we'll have to see how it goes in the next episode because that is going to wrap it up for this episode. Make sure to drop a like, subscribe, turn on post notifications. This is how the inventory is currently looking as well. But yeah, we've genuinely made a ton of profit. Thank you for watching to the end of the episode. And I'll see you in the next episode coming very, very soon.